G'day everyone, my name's Tate and welcome to TNT Tech. Today we'll be having a look at and installing the Corsair H105 240mm all-in-one CPU cooler. Okay, so now we just look at what actually comes in the box for the Corsair uh, cooler. So, um, first of all we have the radiator and the pump itself um, so the radiator is a 38 mil radiator it is a 240 mil uh, so then here we have our two 120 mil fans uh, I believe they are the SP 120 L's that come with it and um, also we'll just have a look at the radiator the fin density I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that um, but it's probably not the densest, I'd say, if that's a word, uh, fins in a radiator, but then you do get the added benefit of it being a little bit more thicker. So, um, but you do have to keep that in mind if you have the room in your case to have the thicker radi uh, radiator, because once you put the fans there and the radiator, you can obviously see there's quite a bit of thickness there so it's probably just a thing to keep in mind um, so here's your also your three pin um, pump so that's just your power for your pump and it's just a pump continuously all the time so hence the three pin uh, all your fans are PWM fans so your four pin fans which is handy uh, for your controls and etc controlling them and you also get your Y splitter for your fans so then you can plug them into one 4 pin header on your motherboard and then they all go into that like that um, also what else we do get in there seems it's just it, it does have an LED in there but it's just white constantly so for this little clip here it sort of just clips off I can get the clip off but um yeah just clips off there and then you have your two other colors that come with it which is a blue and a gray um, so this pump is also for a AMD uh, so we've got our Intel on there already the mounting bracket and then here's the other bracket that comes with it while we're on the topic of brackets we have our back plate so it's important that you remember that uh, to put on there. If you don't put it on there, then you will not have your cooler staying on your CPU. It's as simple as that. Now we come for our standoffs. Now there are a few options. Um, as you can see, there are three different ones. The ones that we will be using, because we're using an Intel CPU, we will be using these ones. So they're pretty simple. They're the same length each end, and there's four of them. So just remember that for your CPU, for your Intel users. Um, we have our four thumb screws, which are obviously to tighten down your um, pump onto your CPU. And then we have some screws uh, with washers as well. And also, we have eight of your fan screws so these go through your fans and then screw into your radiator like so now that's pretty much everything that comes in the box and oh, also can't forget your manual as well that comes in it as well so now we'll just move on to the install so what we need now is our back plate so we'll go grab the back plate um, make sure you put this on the right way. So as you can see on the back of the motherboard, there's a rectangle. So you want the same hole in the back plate to be around that rectangle. So we'll just grab it, pop it in there, 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 and that's that done. The next step in our installation is to grab our little standoffs. So these are the ones we'll be using. Um, they're equal length each end. So we'll be grabbing those. And 
will go to our back plate. So make sure you just sort of hold, I've got my hand underneath there to hold our little back plate on, otherwise you'll try and screw it in and it'll just fall straight through and it'll be a re repeat constantly. So we'll just grab those and we'll start screwing them in. And we won't make you watch this the whole time because it'll take a bit to get it all done. Okay, so now that that's done, uh, the next part is the fun part. Um, so we've actually, on our uh, CPU cooler, um, we've actually taken off the pre-applied paste that actually comes on it. Um, so we're just going to be replacing it with um, some Arctic Silver 5. And um, we'll just, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So we'll just um, put a little pea size there. Just like so. And then we'll get our radiator and pump. So if you are going to replace the old the um, pre-applied paste, just make sure you do clean it off, as we have here. Um, so we just cleaned it off already, which you can look at in another video of ours how to do that. So we'll just line this up. And there we go. So this is where we get our thumb screws. We get those. Do them in a cross diagonal pattern. So then we'll go to this one over here. So when doing these up tight, I usually like to just try and get it um, center. Make sure everything's nice and squared off just so it looks nice inside your case. Um, then just sort of hand tighten it um, to a point where it's fairly tight. And then I like to just grab a screwdriver um, just to tighten everything off just to just to sort of nip it up. Like so. So that's nice and tight how we like it. And um, now we'll just go into installing our radiator to the front of our case. To installing the radiator, I'm going to be doing a push configuration with my fans. So the fans will be at the front of the radiator. So I'll just be here at the front of the case. Um, so what we'll do first is when you're doing the push configuration, uh, you want to put the screws through your case, then through to your through your fan to your radiator to here. Um, I've just sort of mocked up where I want to have it, so it's going to be a lot easier that way once once installing. And I've just already ran my cables as well for my fan. Uh, just to make it a bit easier so you're not trying to fiddle around with them when you um, once it's all screwed in um, so yeah we'll just grab our screw here and we'll grab this front fan here and we'll put it through so that it lines up if I can get it to play nice so that lines up with our radiator and then we grab our screwdriver and then just screw that one up and then we'll just go to our second fan get where we want the hole to be there so we want it here put it through find the hole in the radiator same thing as the first screw then screw it up with our screwdriver and that's sort of just a 
repeat of events really. Um, we'll just go through all the screws, we'll screw them up and then we'll um, show you the end product. So once that's done, they're all screwed in. Um, I've sort of just left them a bit loose to get the position right on the in the case. Uh, one thing you do have to be wary of, um, one thing I did, especially with this case, uh, if you have it up too high at the top, there's actually two little clips for the front panel of the case. Um, so if you have it up too high, you can't actually reach them. And also, because of the thickness of it, um, with the drive hard drive bay uh, that has to also be removed for this case to make sure this fits properly uh, so just a few things when you are installing it before you do it all up and tighten everything you just got to make sure the position is correct and um, that's it so once you've got that into where you want it it's just a matter of just screwing them up tight now we'll just show you um, where to connect your Y splitter for your fans and wiring that up and then we'll be done. Now, everything's all put in, our radiator's done, our pump's in, so all we've got to do is wire it up. Now we've got our um, Y splitter here, so we've got our two Ys, um, they're both for our two fans at the front and then it just goes into our one plug there now what you want to do is you just want to find your um, it'll say CPU fan header uh, CPU fan sorry uh, four pin plug so that's when we'll just grab our four pin here and we'll plug it in so this one's a bit tricky to get to but we should be okay there we go she's in and then we'll just grab our two fan cables, so that one there and our other one is there. So I'll just plug those two in there like that. Um, so you can do some, try and make it look a bit tidier and neater. And also we've just got our pump um, power. Uh, so there is a, on this motherboard there is a CPU opt um, header there, four pin, but we only need the three pins for just the power. So you can plug it there, it's very close to your pump, so that's probably the best option. So we'll just plug that one in there. Again, it's quite tight, but we're in like that. So all that's left to do is just to make this nice and tidy, so we don't have any stragglers hanging out there. And that's it. That's how you install the Corsair H105 all-in-one liquid cooler. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope this was informative and helped you if you're in a pickle. And uh, please subscribe for more content like this. And um, give us a like if you enjoyed it. And comment for some nice criticism. That would be great. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later.